So since this is a boring section, perhaps I should talk about something that might be of interest to my viewers. Why did I pick the V-Strong? I had been uh, considering the V-Strom since, I guess, about 2009. I've always been kind of a sport tourer, more than a pure sport bike. And, um, and because I like to put a lot of miles on, I like to be comfortable. I like wind protection, as you can see from my tall windscreen here. I don't like wind noise. I don't like the wind blasting right below my helmet so that my ears are ringing when I get home. I hate that. And I like to sit upright. And uh, you know, a lot of the touring, uh, sport touring bikes are pretty expensive and pretty heavy. So the V-Strom, uh, I was actually more interested uh, in the 1000. I ended up with a 650. Part of me wishes I would have got the 1000 because I like to have more power. Um, but anyway, before I talk about why I picked this one, just the V-Strom in general, it um, isn't the best looking bike, that's for sure, especially the old the old one. Mine is a 2012. It's the new design. And uh, the previous edition, the 650 and 1000, look almost identical uh, in the body style. The 1000 had those cool twin cannon <coughs> mufflers right under the seat. And uh, whenever you put the aftermarket exhaust on it, it just sounds amazing with that V-twin sound. So, you know, I even test rode a V-Strom back in uh, 2009, maybe it was 2008. And I almost traded my Ducati in for one, but I couldn't bring myself to part with the Ducati. So I didn't do it, and um, you know, then when they came out with the 2012 650 uh, redesign, I figured, well, that's interesting because I want to get the latest and greatest. And then Suzuki had this promo deal with 0% uh, financing, and I thought, well, I can't pass up on that. So there was this one uh, sitting in the dealer showroom. It had some, it's the adventure model. That means it has the uh, side cases and the crash bars and a upgraded windscreen, which I do not have on right now. And uh, the dealer here had the adventure model with these uh, hand guards which were optional and the optional center stand and the optional lower cowling which made uh, the bike look a lot cooler with that lower cowling uh, cover up that vulnerable looking uh, oil filter that sits right in the front sticks out don't understand why they designed it like that Um, so they had that, and they had that 0% interest, and no money down, and I couldn't pass it up anymore, so I took it, I pulled the trigger on it, and bought it, and uh, that was in, I think, April of 2012, and uh, I haven't done too much to it, I put bar risers on it. I got this taller windscreen. It's a Madstad windscreen. That means, um, well, the windscreen is actually made by 
see Bailey. He just made the uh, adjustable bracket, you see. I'm not sure I like the adjustable bracket anymore. It seemed like a good idea, but I never really adjust it. Once I set it to where I like it, I've just left it alone. Probably if I had an electronic adjuster like the uh, new Concourse and the Yamaha FJR, I'd probably adjust it more, but it's kind of a hassle because i got to use an Allen wrench in addition to the two knobs. So I don't understand the knobs. It's like the knobs, yeah, that makes it seem easy. Uh, but then I gotta use the Allen wrench. I think the idea is to set the screws with the Allen wrench loose enough that they can still move with just the turning of the, the knobs. But I didn't like that. Um, I can't remember why now. Um, I think it might have rattled or something. I, I don't remember, but I wanted I had to tighten those ones. So I carry the Allen wrench, but it just seems like I don't want to mess with it. Now that I got it set right, mainly for the hand guards. The hand guards just uh, barely clear the windscreen as it's set up right now. So the windscreen's a little wide. Um, so I put that on. I put on a really tough skid plate. And uh, the skid plate I put on has highway pegs. I don't know if the camera will show them or not. There, you can see. They're pretty long. And they're about as far forward and low as you can get. So I can really stretch out now on the freeway. Uh, <clears throat> What else? Oh, I got the top box that matches the uh, side bags. They're made by SW Motec, same as the uh, crash bars, but they're... I got the Suzuki logo stamped in them, and I had to wait three months to get that, from the time I ordered it, to get that top box. It really annoyed me, because during that time I was using a backpack strapped on the luggage rack for commuting to work because I didn't want to keep the side bags on. They're too wide, they drag too much in the wind. Affect my fuel mileage. And then I put these clear things on the side of the tank. Protectors, they're called tank slappers. Um, I put some yellow reflective striping on the wheels. That's about it. Um, all right, so now we're done with the traffic lights. Now I can just ride. And of course there's a sheriff. Uh, I was going over 70 right there, and it's a 45, so I hope he didn't catch me on that. Oh, uh, man. Totally unmarked SUV. I don't know if he, he looked like he was talking on the phone. I don't remember that building. It must be new. Look at all those roads. Uh, so inviting. All those dirt roads. I don't know how you get to them. And it doesn't seem like it would take long to uh, cover them all. <laughs> 